Imagine if you could access the knowledge of every single business consultant on the planet and instantly access their advice whenever you feel like it. Not in the future, but today. That's what you get with ChatGPT, and that's why we're talking about it on day one. I'm Mark DeGrasse, founder of AI Branding Academy. ChatGPT is uh, the most important tool that you can learn how to use right now. It's uh, extremely easy to use. It's the most used platform uh, of any of the AI platforms. And it's an extremely versatile tool where you could do almost anything uh, to help your projects and streamline your content creation processes. So if you haven't tried ChatGPT uh, yet, you're going to try it today. And I'm going to give you a prompt to show you just how fun it could be to use ChatGPT and find out 10 different ways that AI can help your business at the same time. All right, today I'm going to give you a prompt called How Can AI Help My Business Prompt? <laughs> it's really simple. Uh, if you've heard of prompting, there are uh, specific parameters. We have our own framework for prompting uh, to get you the best results. But the fact of the matter is you're the one that has to use the tool. Uh, and since it's so flexible, which I'll show you today, uh, you'll know why you have to develop your own way of doing things because you'll want to and you can because it's just so easy. Uh, but what I'm going to do is give you a little intro to ChatGPT, then we're going to use this prompt to show you how it works. So to get started, just go to ChatGPT.com. You don't have to sign up for uh, the pro account. This is the pro account, so you'll see that I have a few more options in terms of the model. And there's a few other features that I'll explain in later videos. Uh, but just know that it's it's just this. You have a place to put instructions, and that's all you have to do. It's, it's that easy. There's no uh, onboarding. There's no bunch of fields to fill out. You can literally access this at ChatGPT com right now for free uh, and uh, do quite a bit with it. So uh, some of the other videos, we will cover some more advanced features, but right now this is free. It's all you have to do. So uh, this field is where you start a chat. So if you think of a chat, think of it like an individual project. Uh, the chat is not known to the other chats. Uh, and also, you know, if you don't have an account, it might not save if you're not logged in. So make sure you need a separate account so you could, you know, save these chats and access them later. Uh, but the, the first thing is just a field. So you can write any instruction in here and it will provide a result. Don't worry about any of this other stuff. Uh, just to give you a quick uh, walk around on here, you have your sidebar. So you'll see your old projects here or your old chats here and also your custom gpts once you get using those um, you also have the new chat so when you want to start a new chat you just click that button right there you can also search through uh, your existing chats which is actually a newer feature which is super cool uh, and then over here, you have the capability. I'm not going to explain these today, but there are different models for different uh, types of use. Um, just go with whatever the standard is. Uh, you'll be you know, pretty set, at least uh, right now, before we get more advanced. Up in the top right, you have your account information, and you could upgrade or downgrade your plans, log out, et cetera. And that's pretty much it. That's the whole website. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty awesome. Now, before we do the prompt, uh, just understand that it's all, the prompt or the output is only as good as the input. So if you put something simple like, give me some info about whatever, uh, chances are you're not going to get something that you like and you'll have to keep on prompting to get what you want. So I'm going to show you uh, why this prompt is written the way it is and exactly what it's going to do. So the, the goal is really for it to generate uh, you know, the easiest ways you could uh, start to use AI for your business and your job. So so that's what the question is at very first. What are the top 10 easiest ways AI can help improve my business and my job in the business? Uh, next, we have this phrase, please include only solutions that can be executed with no cost, minimal uh, implementation time, and without requiring technical expertise. Uh, this is a qualifier. So we call this boxing in the AI. If you let the AI run wild, uh, it'll generate a wildly different answer every single time. So you want to box it in by giving it some type of parameters. So in this case, I don't want the solutions to give Sikasa thing. I don't want it to be hard to set up and I don't want it to be technical. Um, and the more you give these kind of rules or parameters, the better the result's going to be. All right, next line is only use the most common AI platforms and avoid applications that use AI features, uh, for example, Canva, rather than dedicated solutions. So again, another qualifier. I don't want just any program that uses AI. I want specific uh, AI dominant programs. And then finally, ask me up to three simple questions to help you deliver the best answer possible. Now, there's two different ways we prompt. One is by providing input puts like your business name and so on and so forth. But for this one, you can always ask AI to just ask you questions. So take uh, the work off of you. And this is something I'll say a lot of times, but don't treat AI like you treat typical programs. Typical programs, you have to, to you know fit yourself in their parameters. AI is different. AI will adapt to you, which is what makes it so powerful and so adaptable to give you whatever information you want. So let's go ahead and run this. 
All right, to provide the best answer, I'd like to ask three quick questions. What type of business do you operate and what are your primary responsibilities within the business? What areas of your business do you want to improve or streamline? And finally, are you open to using AI tools for tasks like writing, scheduling, analyzing data, or managing emails? All right, so we're going to give a fake company. I'm going to say, uh, we'll say residential roofing. And I do admin for the company. All right. If you hold down shift, you can go to the next line, but just know that formatting your prompt isn't necessary. AI knows what you're trying to do. Uh, so just dump it in there and it'll be fine. Uh, but two, let's say what areas of your business do you want to improve or streamline? Uh, we'll say marketing, sales, uh, and customer service. And then finally, three, are you open to using AI tools? Yes. All right. Now what it's going to do is uh, look at the answers you provided, look at the instruction, or actually there are no instructions other than what we did in the initial, initial prompt, and it'll give you the result based on those two inputs. So here are the top 10 easiest ways AI can help your residential roofing business with a focus on marketing, sales, and customer service. These solutions are free, quick to implement, and don't require technical expertise. Content creation for social media. Use ChatGPT or Google Bard to generate engaging posts, captions, or roofing tips for platforms like Facebook or Instagram. Fun. Email marketing templates, SEO optimized blog posts, ad copywriting for paid campaigns, lead qualifications and follow up scripts, proposal generation, customer insights with Google Sheets, automated FAQ responses, follow up uh, and feedback requests, and finally, appointment scheduling assistance. So uh, there you have it. You could do three or you could do 10 different things with AI to improve your roofing business uh, immediately. Now, uh, let's say that you you like some of these, but you're like, ah, you know, I want more explanation. So I could say, please explain how eight would work. How do you automate FAQ responses? It'll just tell you. <laughs> so that's the neat part of AI. You don't have to know anything. You can just keep on querying it. You don't have to go look up info and provide it. It knows everything. So just go ahead and ask your question and ask any follow-up question, and it'll actually give you a uh, response. So in this case, it's telling you exactly how you would implement that. Uh, now, it is a, a few steps, seven steps, but really not that bad. So it's still an easy to implement solution. Uh, and you could just keep going from there. Now, uh, there's a lot more to this, <laughs> but the point of this this exercise is actually to just get you understanding just how powerful the tool is, get you using it, and get you to find out uh, exactly how you can start to use AI for your specific business. So there you have it for day one. Very simple. Uh, just copy and paste the prompt in, answer the questions that AI asked you, and you're good to go. You're already using AI. Now, I do have one more homework assignment for you. Uh, next time you have to use Google, don't. Just open up ChatGPT and ask your question to ChatGPT instead. This is the best way to start to understand how AI works, but also understand how powerful it is because the result you're going to get from ChatGPT is going to be way less commercialized than you would get from uh, you know, a standard search engine like Google. Um, so just try it out. Um, I love to use it, for example, for recipes because instead of having to sift through a million ads to actually find the recipe on an article page, it'll just give me the recipe and you're good to go. And you could you know, say, make it spicier and it'll tell you how to do that stuff too. So hugely adaptable, super fun, easy way to get started with AI. So go and try it out and let, let me know what your results are. Let me know what your favorite result is and we'd love to share it with the other members of the Academy.